Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing more how to 5M videos. Uh, this first video we're going to be doing here is how to actually create um, add-on vehicles for your 5M server. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to change a DLC RPF file into an actual 5M ready vehicle as well as um, making it so that you guys could actually um, change spawn codes for vehicles because sometimes the default spawn codes you guys just might not like them change spawn code be more personalized things like that guys so we're gonna jump right into it here so I'm just gonna go on my browser I'm on GTA 5 mods.com guys link in the description this is where I get all my cars from amazing resource for vehicles so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go I like this coding sick like Jessica just code um, this car looks nice so we're just gonna hit download we're gonna hit download again Downloading the just code right here. So now, just gonna finalize that. So guys, they have Open IV open up here. So all you're gonna want to do is just go to Open IV, go to Update X64 DLC Packs. That's that simple, guys. We're gonna go right into here, and we're gonna just open up this RAR file, guys. WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip. All those files worked up in this. So now, as you guys can see, we just have this with a DLC RPF. I'm just going to drag this right into here. Make sure you have edit mode on. If you don't, turn it on. It's not going to allow you to drag that in. We're just going to open this up. DLC RPF. So now I'm going to open up my server files here. So um, depending on whether you guys are using a VPS or however you guys are hosting your server, it might be different for you. Might have to log into an FTP, things like that. But we're just going to be looking on my local host server today. So I just am going to go here, I'm going to create a new folder, All right? I'm going to call it video car, All right? I'm going to go into this, create a new folder called stream, um, has to be lowercase guys. It won't work if it's not lowercase. So we're just going to call this stream. Then we're going to actually, I'm just going to copy a file that I already have existing called a resource .lua, guys link in the description for what you guys are going to have to download this is required to actually make the car basically work in the server if you don't have this the car's not going to work i'll show you guys the contents of it though um so let me just pull this up here so here's the contents um basically just tells the server where to actually find the files for the car and things like that so you just won't need that either so that's all you guys are going to need for the resource.lua file so we can exit out of this now so now, over on OpenIV, we're going to go to X64, DLC, RPF. Now you guys are going to see that it looks like we have two different vehicles. We have an X version, so we're going to see which one we want. I'm just going to open up the high YTF, or YFT, my bad. And we're just going to see which one I want to use. Um, I'm not really seeing a difference. So I think I'm just going to go with the uh, X file. So literally just going to control, then click on the YTD. And these, we're going to drag these right into the stream folder here, guys. That's all we're going to do. So right in here, boom, we got that done. So now I'm going to back out. I'm going to go to data. Now you see we have a vehicles, handling, and our car variations. So this is going to get dropped into our main directory for the file. Um, if you had a car calls, you'd also grab the car calls. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the stream folder to actually change the spawn code. We're going to select the YTD and the YTF. We're going to click on rename. We're gonna name this video car. Now we're gonna change the high. So you have to keep the high or else the file isn't gonna work. So change everything below the high to video car. Now we're gonna go into the vehicles.meta. We're gonna change model name and txt name to video car. I'm just gonna copy this and then paste it right here. You don't have to change the handling ID. I wouldn't recommend it. It's just another thing that you have to do next. So I don't really do it. You can if you want, if you want your custom handling, but you don't need to. So we're gonna go down here to uh, actually the one that we're using, my bad. We're using this one here. The X, not the regular version. So we can actually just delete this, all these files right here. We don't need these. So now, the TXD relationships, um, you'd actually, I'm just going to delete this one, right? So you guys can delete these if you want, you don't need them, but you're just going to change the child 
name. So you see how this is Jesco 2020 X. That's the car that we changed the spawn code on. So we're gonna go down here to where it says child and change that to say video car. And then we're almost there guys. So now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into our car variations file. We have Jesco X. Literally just going to just change that to say video car. We could delete the piece that says Jesco here. We don't need that. Um, this is just happens to be a two car pack, but for most cars, you don't have to go to and delete these. So that's literally it guys. So now I'm just going to go to my server, go to my server CFG here, and I'm just gonna edit it to add my resource that I wanna start. So I'm just gonna type start. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys. So literally just gonna go to type start video car. Um, it's just the name of this resource, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Um, videos, cars. This is just called video car, guys. It's that simple. So now I'm just gonna minimize this, minimize this. I'm just gonna start my server. So for you guys, it may be a little bit different if you guys are using a hosting service, things like that. You might have to go on like web panel and stuff like that. But um, if you guys are using a hosting service, you're looking for a new hosting service, all you guys gotta do, just go to the link in the description, Iceline Host will be the first link down below, iceline.host slash RLRP, guys. Use promo code RLRP for 15% off your first month. Guys, they have amazing DDoS protection overall, just a great hosting service, great prices. Um, they host a multitude of games, guys, so go check them out. Like I said, first link in the description. So now we're just going to open this up, click start. Now once again for you guys, um, for me it's going to be a local host, but for you guys it might be the server IP that you guys have to connect to. But for me, it's just going to be the simple local host, guys. So now I load in, you'll see uh, TJH Development, guys, that is my development server. Um, once again, link in the description if you want to join that. Um, premium uh, development services, things like that, um, very helpful. We this is a this is the spot where you can actually get all my videos from as well. You get help from me and other developers. Uh, overall, just an amazing development resource. So we're spawned in now. So um, so what we're gonna do is press F1. That's my V menu. Um, upcoming video on how to install trainers and other scripts into your server. We're just gonna vehicle spawner spawn by vehicle name. We're just gonna go video car. We're gonna spawn that in and. There's our car, guys. Might take a second to load in for you, um, depending on how large the file is. But it's that simple, guys. So we have our car loaded in here. Um, we can go to our mod menu. We have our full mod menu. We can lower the car, put armor on it. I believe the window tint is just stock like that. If we go on first person, it's not very detailed. It's not the greatest vehicle, but it works. Um, and it drives. It has a sound. It works. It drives. It's a, it's overall it's a pretty solid vehicle, guys. So and you saw that we actually changed our spawn code to say video car instead of the Jesco 2020X like we had before. But our car, our car has sound. Um, updated. There's gonna be a video coming out probably sometime this week on how to actually um, kind of fine tune your car, how to edit handling lines, how to change sound files, things, all that good stuff. But that is all I got for you guys in this video. Um, check the description. There's some important links down below. But otherwise, guys, hope this was helpful. Hope this was educational. And I hope this kind of helps you guys get a little bit of a better grasp on how to do things for 5M. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy, guys. Um, my job here is I want to help you guys. I want to show you guys that 5M isn't that hard. I want I want to kind of make so you guys don't feel intimidated to try and create your own 5M server. That's kind of what the entire point of TJH development is. Um, we want to help you create your own 5M server. We want to show you that it's not intimidating. It's actually pretty easy to create your own 5M server. So make sure to join that Discord in the description below for more uh, very important resources. Otherwise, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.